This morning, we've been thinking about our gift in Ephesians 4. But also in the passage, we see that as a body of believers, we're called upon to walk in a manner worthy of the gift of salvation that we've been given. Today, will you join me as we pray about God's world, God's people and his church? Our Father, we turn to pray for our planet. We thank you for the beautiful world that you created. We thank you for the wonder and joy that we can find in creation. And we thank you that you've entrusted it to our care. We lament the fact that it's being exploited and that human actions are leading to climate change. We confess the ways in which we're not looking after your world. And yet we take hope in the faithful actions of so many who are stewarding your world and we are filled with joy when we look forward to its restoration in the new creation. May we never give in to despair, because with you there's always hope. May we have courage and faith to step out in hope-filled action. Our Father, as the coronavirus pandemic continues to rage on, we thank you for the continued work of frontline workers in the UK. We pray especially for those working in the NHS. We're so blessed to have a free health care service and we thank you for this. We pray for all those around the world who do not have adequate access to health care. We thank you for the hope of the vaccine and for its effective rollout across the UK. May that continue and may you give the people in power wisdom so that those who are most vulnerable and in need are protected first. May that continue and may you give those in power wisdom so that those who are most vulnerable and in need are protected first. We pray for those among us who have lost loved ones or who We pray for those among us who have lost loved ones or who are suffering from ill health. We thank you that you bless those who grieve, that you are a God who comforts and that because of the cross and resurrection, we do not grieve without hope. In the Bible, we're challenged to mourn with those who mourn. Would you help us to be a source of comfort and hope to those that we know who are ill or grieving now? Let us take a moment to lift up our friends who are bereaved or who need physical, emotional and mental healing. Finally, Lord, we pray for your church. We pray for the church around the world, our church, Holy Trinity, and all of the individuals who make up the body of the church. We thank you for your church, for the diverse and beautiful body of believers. We thank you for your church, for the diverse and beautiful body of believers. We thank you for each and every person who you know and love. We thank you that you created us all as immeasurably valuable, unique and loved individuals, each with our different gifts and roles in the body of Christ. May we use our gifts to honour and serve you and our neighbours, being who, people who bring more of your kingdom. May we grow in unity and faith as we run the race you set before us. Lord, fill us, your people, with your spirit and equip us to serve you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you, Sienna, for leading us in prayer. And thank you to Steve for leading us through that passage. It's been a great reminder, isn't it, of, of the need to stay together, work together and grow together. Sometimes the image is used of the church um, as a hospital. And that's a, a wonderful image. It reminds us that uh, we're allowed to come to church and to, to, to Christian uh, community broken, um, that God wants to bind us up and we want to look after each other. But we're reminded in this passage also of the image of a nursery, that church is meant to be a place where we grow, where we build each other up, where we have ambition to become more and more mature. And it reminds us uh, that uh, we are all needed to be part of that. 
And so I encourage uh, you, if you've been thinking about whether uh, you want to connect with HT, maybe you've been watching at a distance, you've been interested, you've been exploring, but you haven't yet joined, uh, um, why don't you connect with us today? Um, ask to join a small group um, or, or, or explore faith more. We'd love to connect with you. And also, if, you, if it's been on your heart or your mind for a while to get involved in serving in a ministry, maybe you've been thinking about emailing Esther and, and asking about joining the worship uh, band or, or Steve and joining the youth uh, team or whichever team it might be. And why don't you have a prayer about it and, and, and take that step and, and explore whether um, there may, might be a place where you could be a real blessing to others. It's wonderful to be um, a family that built each other up. And I know that is very much our experience here at HT. Wonderful. Well, we are coming to the end of our service now. And we're going to end by singing a, a final song together. Um, and if you'd like to give during this final song to, to support the ministry of HT, that's another way we can build each other up. Um, then you can use the text, uh, uh, text giving, or you can go to our website. But let's worship together now.
Wonderful. Well, we've come to the end of our service now. It's been great to be together. A couple of reminders. A reminder to join us on Tuesday for the rest of our Equip for Life seminars, if you want to join us for that. And today, 11.45 for coffee, um, if you'd like to join us for that. Otherwise, let me end by praying uh, for the Lord's blessing to rest upon us as we uh, go out from here. And so may the blessing of God, who is almighty, the Father of whom we are all uh, children, the Son who redeemed us to be his one bride, and the Spirit who binds us all together, rest upon us now and go with us evermore. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you for worshipping with us this morning. Uh, have a wonderful afternoon and see you next Sunday, if not before.